Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the University of Central Lancashire, I am delighted to warmly welcome you to Preston Guildhall and to this graduation ceremony. On this special day, we are here to proudly celebrate the achievements of our students from the Faculty of Clinical and Biomedical Sciences and the Faculty of Science and Technology. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Mike Thomas, to give his address. Good morning, everybody. Um, just before I give my address, I'd just like to say that if there are any babies, infants, or small children in the audience, and they're making a noise or they wish to run around, please let them do so. We're quite happy here if there are infants and children, if they want to cry or laugh or run about, we're perfectly comfortable with it. Please don't feel embarrassed or feel you have to take your infant out of the hall. They're our future students. <laughs> Honoured guests, Ladies and gentlemen, members of the University Board, honorary fellows, and our graduates, it's a great pleasure to welcome you to this graduation ceremony at which we acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of you, our graduates and postgraduates. I always look forward to graduation ceremony and the chance for the university, its staff, board members, honorary fellows, and honored guests to celebrate such an important day for you, our graduates, your families and your friends. This is your day. I hope you enjoy both the ceremony itself and the celebrations afterwards. It's customary for a vice chancellor to use graduation as an opportunity to comment on economic affairs, politics, or to speak about the university sector in general. But with your forbearance, I wish to direct my words at you, our graduates and postgraduates. You've spent the past few years studying for your awards during what is undoubtedly one of the most uncertain and somewhat turbulent periods of social history. We appear to live in an age where opinion carries more weight than fact, where contradiction is seen as reasoning, where opposing argument is seen as personal opposition, and where falsehoods and fake news are plausible versions of phenomena, where truth is manipulated and made elastic stretched to its very limits. But I take an optimistic view of the future because of you who graduate today. You've trained your intellect to be alert and resilient in this uncertain age. I hope as you continue your careers, you'll continue to apply your reasoning to achieve two things. To always be committed to uncover and shine a light on truth using evidence and analysis. And secondly, to apply such evidence-based methodologies on falsehoods, manipulations of facts, and unfounded opinions that harm our society. Our School of Engineering students and graduates are in great demand. We know you have a good future. We know, for instance, that this year, many of you had placements with EDM in Manchester. We know that one of those placements resulted in a student going to Japan recently and you were involved in the installation of the company's products of simulators for staff training at a Japanese airline. We know that the careers that you develop are often in high profile areas and, you, and it's wide ranging in terms of scope and international opportunities and includes social and civic roles such as fire officers, F1 motorsports, company safety officers, designing engineering facilities and working in multinational companies. Equally, those of you in pharmacy and biomedical science will go on to be experts in your field. Many of you will work in the, outs in the NHS as pharmacists or within clinical pathology. But outside, many of you will go on to postgraduate courses, PhD projects, and look at 
overcoming diseases such as Alzheimer's and novel treatments for brain cancers. I would argue you should never underestimate the experiences you've had in your university life and the way it shapes your thinking and your future life. And our success is achieved together, staff and students seeking new knowledge to provide clarity and certainty. For in the midst of this period of uncertainty, we know certain things about you. We certainly know that you worked hard for your awards. There's a sense of certainty if you hold on to those beliefs and values that support and promote our communities, the principles and approaches that are enshrined in our university. For instance, common sense, the judgment to do the right thing for others, compassion to treat others with consideration, care and honesty, teamwork to think and act together, valuing collective as highly as individual achievement, attentiveness to take personal and professional pride in the quality of your work, but show you can listen and care for others as you do that work, and trust, showing respect and integrity in everything that you will do. We know certain things about you sitting in front of me this morning. We know you have the ability to understand complex issues. We know you can be critical in making judgments. We know you have confidence to challenge the status quo by applying your own intellect. We know you would have developed a value for civil society and a willingness to make a personal contribution. We know this because your graduates and postgraduates, we've tested you, we've observed you, we've assessed you. So now it's your turn. Go out, observe, watch, listen, analyze. Devise new solutions to the things that life will bring you. Keep learning, keep exercising your intellect and be ready to intervene as you go on with your life. Don't be afraid or unwilling to try different things. Forge your own path, but be ready to compromise when you need to. We look to you for our future. So participate in processes, in debates, in organizations, in businesses and commerce. Seek to make a difference. We know something else about you today as well. We know that gaining the awards that you've earned and which we celebrate is difficult. That must be so. I make no apologies for that. Few things in life of genuine value are easy to gain, and the success in any university is far from easy. The university would have demanded from you dedication, commitment, intellectual endeavor, and just sheer hard work. I'm sure that many of you here in the audience, families, <coughs> friends, colleagues, would have been called upon to provide a helping hand in that journey. So on behalf of you, our graduates, I would like to thank everyone in the audience for that invaluable support and ask that you join me in sharing our appreciation to you. It's difficult, I think, for people not ingrained in university life to fully comprehend what a university does. We are strange beasts in the organizational world. We are simultaneously a public sector, but we're also a commercial company and we're also a charity. And the way it works here in the University of Central Lancashire is we incorporate those three aspects by focusing on you, our students. We hire academic scholars and we form an academic community, a village really, where we dedicate our lives to supporting learning. You would have been supported by a dedicated group of academic staff, many of whom are international leaders in their field, all of whom devote their professional lives to the learning and development of their subjects. And you would have been supported by many highly dedicated professional staff who provide the services and infrastructure that have made your success possible. So on your behalf, I would like to thank every one of our staff and ask once again, that you join me in applauding them. In a few minutes, the name of our graduates will be called out and we'll applaud and cheer. Please make as much noise as you can. This is a celebratory ceremony. Each of you will enter to my right 
you'll cross the stage, you'll shake my hand in the middle, I'll congratulate you, and you'll exit stage left as graduates and postgraduates. We do this to pub publicly acknowledge your individual achievements and to congratulate you personally. And I know everyone in the hall will be as enthusiastic with your applause for our first graduate as you will be for our final graduate. We take genuine pride in your achievements. I'm confident that many of you will go out into the world and bring real social and economic benefit to yourself and the communities in which you will live. Whatever you decide to do next, wherever in the world you find yourself, you'll always be a member of this university. I hope at some stage you will return to your academic home. But for now, on behalf of everybody here, very well done, congratulations, and good luck for a happy and successful life. Thank you. The presentation of the graduands and award holders will now take place. <clears throat> Vice Chancellor, on behalf of the academic board, I present those who have gained awards in the School of Engineering. For a thesis entitled Strategic Stakeholder Dialogue and Social Sustainability Indicator Development for Nuclear Decision Making in Anglesey, North Wales, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Johan Mihangel Chanlipari. For a thesis entitled Study of the Impact of Quality Management Systems on Chinese Baby Dairy Product Industry, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Qingxin Chen. Master of Science by Research, Stephen Derrick Moore. <laughs> Master of Science in Construction Law and Dispute Resolution, Richard Darren Bell. <laughs> Master of Science in Fire Scene Investigation, Peter Eric Morgan. <laughs> Master of Engineering in Motorsports Engineering, Simon Harris. <laughs> Master of Science in Project Management, Salim Ahmed Salim Al Baraymi. Sarah Khamis Al Kabi, <laughs> Mohammed Abdul Aziz Mate Al Azizi, <laughs> Huda Ahmed Khamis Al Luwati, <laughs> Omar Abdullah Bakhir Al Kindi. Yasmin Mansour. <laughs> Master of Science in Renewable Energy Engineering, Iftikhar Hussain Bukhari. <laughs> Master, 
Nouradjreddin Ismail Marikal. Raja Sika Jayal Balan. Graham Walwyn. Alpha Fahira. Master of Engineering with Honours in Electronic Engineering, Edward Lubley. With the School Prize for Best Master of Engineering with Honours student, Suleiman Sheikh. <laughs> Master of Engineering with Honours in Mechanical Engineering. With the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Best Student Certificate, Connor Pelham Howard. Master, Master of Engineering with Honours in Motorsports Engineering with the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Best Student Certificate, Shannon Hill. <laughs> with the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Best Project Certificate and Best Level 6 Project Award, Adam Connor Ludgate. Dominic Strange. <laughs> Joe Wackrell. <laughs> Master of Engineering with Honours in Robotic Engineering with the School Prize for Best Master of Engineering with Honours Project, Alexander Callum Small. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Architectural Engineering, Nathan Noble. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Building Services and Sustainable Engineering, Mark Broom. <laughs> Carl Brady. And with the Pettit Singleton Prize, Sam Caton. <laughs> Jake Marsh. <laughs> Nathan Naylor. <laughs> with the school prize for best performing building services and sustainable engineering student, Sam Peter Reed. Aaron Scaife. Kyle James Wasley. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Computer Aided Engineering with the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Best Project Certificate, Thomas Harvey Burroughs. Anastasia Sarah Bingham Kirkland. <laughs> With the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Best Student Certificate, Connor Mark Hall Jackson. <laughs> Alexander John David MacDonald. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Civil Engineering with the School Prize for the Best Performing Civil Engineering Student and the Chartered Institute of Building Certificate of Excellence for the Best Student Performance and Achievement, Shahid Mahmoud Mirza al Bakhat. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Joanne Breeze. Kelvin Collins. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Electronic Engineering, <laughs> Zhao Ding. <laughs> Connor Hampton. <laughs> Mark
with the Institution of Engineering and Technology Prize for Most Outstanding Student and the School Prize for Best Level 6 Project, Timothy Jordan. <laughs> Lewis Kemp. <laughs> Jin Yui Wang. <laughs> Yi Wang. Jingwei Yang. <laughs> Jamie Alstwick. <laughs> Nathan Cowgill. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Energy Engineering, John McAdam Mitsuki Christmas. <laughs> Mayor Lodia. Kays Masada. <laughs> Anastasia Sadarova. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Fire Engineering, Ahmed Abdullah Al Mohammed. <laughs> Abdul Rahman Khalid Al Matawa. Hamid Ali Al Yafi. Yeah. Damien Trifanau. Mark John Cottle. Anthony Dodds. Paul Michael Garvey. With the Omega Fire Engineering Prize for the Best BNG Honours Fire Engineering Graduate 2017 and the School Prize for Best Project, David Michael Green. <laughs> Ashley Craig Mather. Andre Muscat. Gareth William Piper. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Mechanical Engineering, Atif Arshad. Christopher Bromley. Alex Robert Cushing. Rahel Ditta. Danielle Hayes. <laughs> Joseph Frank Hoyle. <laughs> Nathan Jones. <laughs> Christopher Lovell Smith. <laughs> Isaac Patrick Finbar O'Grady. With the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Best Project Certificate, Tristan Simpkin. <laughs> Anthony Soulsby. <laughs> Thomas Liam Stewart Brackenridge. <laughs> Reuben Knowles Taylor. Ruman Valev. <laughs> Tonyant Anthony. <laughs> With the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Best Student Certificate, Adam Michael Drabble. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Mechanical Maintenance Engineering, with the School Prize for Best Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Student, Elliot Chadwick. <laughs> with the School Prize for Best Level 6 Project, 
Mohammed Saif Ullah Khan. <laughs> Benjamin Freeman. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering, Daniel Beattie. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Motorsports Engineering, Max Bladen. Terence John Hilling. Matthew Kennedy. Rikos Panagiotto. With the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Best Project Certificate, Luciano Miguel Souza de Contes Cavallo. Arnaldo Solazanzo Garcia. <laughs> With the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Best Student Certificate and the Frederick Barnes Waldron Award for the Best Overall Student, James Topless. <laughs> Adam James Trainer. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Oil and Gas Safety Engineering, Ahmed Abdul Rahman Al Hajri. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Robotics Engineering, Joshua Green. <laughs> Michael Isaacs. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Building Surveying, Luke Flintoff. <laughs> Nina Heron. <laughs> Rhys McMurrah. <laughs> with the School of Engineering Prize for the Best Performing Building Surveying Student, the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors Best Building Surveying Student, and the Chartered Institute of Building Certificate of Excellence for the Best Student Performance, Katie Emma Fletcher. <laughs> Gareth Frankland. <laughs> Paul Hendy. With the Chartered Institute of Building Certificate of Excellence, Darren Paul Leach. <laughs> Ryan David White. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Construction Project Management, James Dovey. With the Chartered Institute of Building Certificate of Excellence, Daniel Michael James Forkin. <laughs> Richard Anthony Gunning. <laughs> With the Marcus Worthington Prize for Best Dissertation, Lukaman Mohammed. With the School of Engineering Prize for Best Performing Construction Project Management Student, the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors Prize for Best Construction Project Management Student, and the Chartered Institute of Building Certificate of Excellence, Joseph William Roundtree. <laughs> Lewis Parkinson. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Facilities Management, Abdulaziz Ali Al Mahanadi. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Fire and Leadership Studies, Hayden Calcott. <laughs> with the School Prize for Most Outstanding BSc Honours Student and Best Project, Jennifer Jane Davis. Michelle Foster.
Marley Holland. Jack Kirk. Matthew James Langston. Joseph Matthews. Ryan Morris. Kudakwashi Mutambira. Kamil Podeswa. Ben Ratu. Callum Rose. Simon Siankovic. And Michael Wynn. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Fire Safety Engineering, Mohamed Salah Al Yami. <laughs> Trenton Graham. <laughs> Ryan Houghton. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Quantity Surveying, Trishna Ashwin Halai. <laughs> Nayan Laxman Hirani. <laughs> Darius Lloyd. <laughs> Kieran Parker. With the school prize for the best performing full time quantity surveying student, Baljit Saini. <laughs> Michael Berry. John Dunn. Adam Hiles. Ronan Paul Jones. Jordan Lee Kendall. Daniel James Mottram. Samuel Frederick James Pennington. With the Chartered Institute of Building Certificate for Excellence, or of Excellence for the Best Part-Time Student Performance, Lauren Pope. <laughs> With the Marcus Worthington Prize for Best Dissertation, Jack Sabor. <laughs> With the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors Best Quantity Surveying Student, Daniel Tempest. <laughs> Thomas Richard Towes. <laughs> With the Chartered Institute of Building Certificate of Excellence highly commended, Sarah Ann Tyson. Foundation degree in science in computer aided engineering, Paul Johannes Luisalo. <laughs> Higher National Diploma in Mechanical Engineering, Assad Amin. Yes, <laughs> Higher National Certificate in Project and Quality Management, Oliver Horn. Vice-Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the School of Engineering.
Vice-Chancellor. On behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the School of Pharmacy and Biomedical Sciences. For a thesis entitled Characterization of Cytokine Secretion in Malignant Gliomas, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Peter Abel. A thesis entitled Characterization of Enterococcal Sensor Kinase Van SA and its Ligand Binding Properties, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Charlotte Sarah Hughes. For a thesis entitled Curcumin as a Therapeutic Agent for the Treatment of Rheumatoid Arthritis and Cancer, the Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Rashini Mariam Matthews. For a thesis entitled, Can Curcuminoids Be More Effective Than Sulfasalazine for the Treatment of Rheumatoid Arthritis, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Marasa Sheikh. For a thesis entitled, Phosphorylation Sites on Specific Neuronal Proteins Can Control the Mode of Synaptic Vesicle Exocytosis and Thereby Regulate syn Synaptic Transmission, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Deva Saudan Singh. Master of Pharmacy with Honours, Gassam Esam Eldin Abbas. <laughs> Abdul Munim Abdul Karim. <laughs> with the Diana Aspidum Memorial Prize awarded to the student who has made the greatest pastoral contribution to other MPharm students, Bara Abulula. <laughs> Salia Adam. <laughs> Mohammed Adam. <laughs> Safia Ahmed. Imran Akhtar. <laughs> Zishan Akhtar. <laughs> Aisha Alabi. Hina Alam. <laughs> Afak Haider Ali. <laughs> Burgess Ali. <laughs> Hamza Ali.
Hannah Ali. Hera Mobin Ali. Taib Ali. Samuel Alakujui. Mohammed Adil Ali. Amina Al Safar. Zinat Amin. Rebecca Arthur. Mariam Ashraf. Mohammed Ashrafi. Mariam Aslam. Anissa Ayub. Abu Bakr Badawi. Rayan Bassi. Mimuna Baza. Ibrahim Baruka. Nima Bika. Mohammed Ishtiak Al Islam Chowdhury. Florence Mary Crawford. Toluani Daramola. <laughs> Mithun Day. <laughs> Fatima Diranda. <laughs> Sasmin Dukanwala. Sana Elahi. With the Cohen's Community Pharmacy Prize, awarded for professional attitude and attainment throughout the fourth year of the M Farm, Aaron Evans. And Sam Eve Fadel Fadel. Megan Foley. <laughs> Nazir Aghani. <laughs> Nikola Genchev. <laughs> Saha Zenazadi Garenchak. Karan Gossain. Yeah. Wahid Hanif. <laughs> Mohammed Asma Hassan. <laughs> With the Royal Pharmaceutical Graduate Prize, awarded for outstanding achievement and professionalism on the M Farm course. Emma Elizabeth Hatton. <laughs> Elinaz Hossimpur. <laughs> Adila Hussein. <laughs> Amira Hussein.
Aisha Hussain. Aisha Hussain. Usman Hussain. Sophie Helen Ingram. Mariam Iqbal. Mohammed Haroon Iqbal. Mohammed Jakariah Jabbar. Charity Jacob. Claire Louise Victoria Jones. Zemret Kalata. Amar Khan. Hamza Khan. Javeria Azam Khan. Mohammed Kamran Khan. Samaya Karodia. Prerna Kumar. Zainab Olusumbo Kusima. Harris Latif. Samuel Yan Kai Lai. Laura Lee Little. Mohammed Tayab Mahmood. Umar Mahmood. Zara Mahmood. Diane Dadirai Makoni. Mariam Malik. Laura Daisy Maloney. Samaya Safia Mamode Ali. Emma McCarthy. Olawato Missin Anthea Medoi. Anissa Mahmood. <laughs> Shelley Mehta. <laughs> Winter Mogus. <laughs> Nadia Moinodin. Femizil Michelle Mpala. <laughs> Morris Shenusi Musada. <laughs> Sandra Natembo. <laughs> Humaira Aisha Nafa. Zalash Nuri. <laughs> Vanika Pal. <laughs> Afif Patel. <laughs> Faisal Ahmed Patel. 
Hema Pritesh Patel. Huzafa Patel. Mohammed Patel. Nuzat Patel. Raisha Patel. Sunil Patel. Tasneem Patel. Zainab Patel. Samim Ramani. Farzana Rashid. Mohammed Saeed. Jasvin Sal. Zulika Jabin Samad. Abigail Sarpong. Ushpa Shaheed. Abdul Khalik Sharif. Andrew Shihata. Arindapal Sikkim. Karandeep Singh. Mohammed Sahail. Mohammed Usman. Vivek Varu. Alina Sunnah Wahid. Nadia Yasmin Wilson. Jessica Kexing Wang. Fatma Zokade. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Biological Sciences, George Thomas Adams. <laughs> Sarah Borg. Jake Chadwick. <laughs> Philip Layton. <laughs> Kieran Alex Marsden. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Biomedical Science, Riza Alka. Miriam Amin. <laughs> Jessica Lucy Jade Barnes. <laughs> With the Royal Society of Biology Prize for the top biosciences student, Danielle Elizabeth Bell. <laughs> Jack Bidloff. Georgina Bauer. Jasmine Louise Broadbent. With the Institute of Biomedical Science President's Prize, Hannah Louise Butterworth. Rafara Chidsvia. Rosie Clover. Francis De La Cruz. Blessing of Young Eden.
Tasneem Essa. Benjamin Peter Farmworth. Gordon Harding. Nicola Hindley. Adil Hussein. Hodan Ibrahim. Prashanthi Jaya Wadane. Lydia Jones. Sarah Louise Livesey. Marie Manessa. Sarah Elise McMillan. Catherine Leah Ogden. Kumaria Patel. Umaya Patel. Sneha Prajapati. Claudia Magdalena Respecha. John Robert Smith. Tessa Sutton. Benjamin Wade. Back to our Eunice. With the Biochemical Society for the Best Final Year Research Project, Mariam Zub uh, Maria Zubair, sorry. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Healthcare Science, Amar Ali. <laughs> Afifa Hakim. <laughs> Mosin Khan. Natasha King. Amir Patel. Safwan Razul. Farah Louise Otobui. I tried. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Physiology and Pharmacology. Jemima Adipuju Eulade. <laughs> Dean Fish. <laughs> Ebony Houghton. <laughs> Lewis Jackson. Sandeep Kaur. James Rain. Olivia Schofield. Sonia Taylor. Tewelde Tesfe Velde Gerigish. Higher National Diploma in Engineering, Philip Peter Horn. Yeah. 
Lewis Robin Scytheworth. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Motorsports Engineering, Adam Scrivens. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Construction Project Management, Vasaka Shililongo. Uh, <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering in Fire Safety Engineering, Mohammed Nasser Mohammed Al Hajeri. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Physiology and Pharmacology, Noor Abil Ali Youssef Alam. <laughs> Kirill Pogodiv. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Fire Engineering, Salaf Rashid S. Al Hadri. Ian White. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Mechanical Engineering, Mustafa Found K. Al Mizera. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Physiotherapy, J. Gandhi. Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Energy Engineering, Mohammed Ahmed. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the School of Pharmacy and Biomedical Sciences. Vice-Chancellor, the presentations are completed. I call on Lily Green, Vice President Welfare from the Students' Union of the University of Central Lancashire to respond on behalf of those awarded today. Vice-Chancellor, graduates, families, friends, and loved ones. It is my honor to stand here before you today and speak on behalf of students. Firstly, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate you all on this incredible achievement. Getting to this moment is not easy, and it's no doubt a result of your hard work, determination, and sacrifice. So you should all be incredibly proud of yourselves. However, it's important to remember that university is more than the assignments and the exams. It's more than the ever-increasing price paid to better your future. It is more than a piece of paper at the end, because university is an unforgettable experience. The people that you've met and the memories that you have created together make each and every one of your journeys to graduation unique and special. You may have joined a sports team, found friends for life in a student society, or led a volunteering project that you were passionate about. You may have been a representative yourself or led campaigns to help create meaningful change and truly make, better, well, truly make life better for students on campus. Whether it was making student access to testing for educational disabilities for free or campaigning to ensure that support for BDS and a free Palestine was introduced into union policy. You've made an impact and students will feel it for years. Whatever it was, it's helped to mould you into the graduates that I see, me, see before me today. As graduates of UConn, every one of you also strengthens this university's worldwide alumni network. 
And today's award is a landmark in both your personal and professional development and a stepping stone to your future success. They say that you are the leaders tomorrow, but many of you are leaders here and now. So don't wait for the opportunities and experiences to find you. It's important to seek them out and make the absolute best of the strong foundations that you've laid here, starting with your graduation. And I understand as well that the university, not university, should I say, the university seems a bit intimidating at times, the graduate world's a bit intimidating at times, and it might feel like you are heading towards a place of uncertainty. And that's perfectly fine, that is okay. No one has it completely worked out, and life has a way of changing your plans, even if you think you do. So just remember to have compassion for yourself and others, that there is no such thing as perfection, and life is not a race, and that you, and only you, can have the power to dictate your life. The most important thing to do is to remember that you've made it this far, and there's no stopping you now. So last but not least, I'd like to thank the families, friends, university staff, union staff, and loved ones that have joined you here today and supported you throughout your UConn journey. I wish you all the best for the future, class of 2018, and your students' union hopes to see you again. It is now my pleasure to introduce the University of Central Lancashire's Chamber Choir. The members of the University Chamber Choir are all students of music theatre within the School of Journalism, Media and Performance. The choir is directed by the University's musician in residence, Mark Goggins. The University is extremely proud of the growing reputation and success of the Chamber Choir. In recent years, the Chamber Choir has won national competitions, including the BBC Radio 3 Adult Choir of the Year. The Chamber Choir has performed on BBC One, BBC Four, and on BBC Radio 3, as well as at some major performance venues, including the Royal Festival Hall, Birmingham Symphony Hall, and the Bridgewater Hall. In June, the Chamber Choir returned from their latest overseas concert tour, which once again received great critical acclaim. This morning, the Chamber Choir will sing Seasons of Love by Jonathan Larson.
Today is, of course, a day of great celebration for everyone here. And we need to celebrate in an appropriate way. Family and friends, there's a good photo opportunity coming up, so you might like to have your cameras at the ready. <clears throat> Could I please ask that the graduates all stand and take the mortarboards off your head? <laughs> Which is probably a great relief, as I notice some of them are a bit uh, balancing in a precarious way. <clears throat> In a moment, I'm going to ask you all to wave your mortarboard. And as is the tradition at UCLan, you must wave as vigorously as you can in recognition of all your hard work and your achievements. However, do keep a tight hold on your mortarboard as it is now yours to keep and to take home. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the count of three, I want you all to wave your mortarboards in the air and give a hearty cheer, and the rest of us will all follow with three further cheers. One, two, three. Now you can sit down again. <laughs> As we bring this ceremony to a close, I would like to thank everyone who has been involved in making today such a happy and memorable occasion. And thank you for coming and sharing this special day with the university community. I would like to invite you all to return to a reception at the university's foster building where we will continue to celebrate the success of today's graduates. Gowns can also be left at the foster building after the event. Please may I ask now that you all stand for the national anthem. Please be seated. <laughs> the, pl <coughs> the platform party will now leave the stage and form a celebratory guard of honour. We are going to conclude the ceremony with a final opportunity to applaud the success of today's graduates. Graduates, you will shortly be processing out of the hall. A university usher will prompt you when your row will need to stand up. Please make sure you take all your belongings with you. Guests, <clears throat> please may I ask that you all remain seated 
until the platform party has left the hall, you will be able to rejoin your graduate downstairs. Thank you.